Hello students, today we are going to learn about angles, right, straight and complete angles in terms of directions. Chapter 5, Understanding Elementary Shapes, Class 6, Mathematics. So, you know about directions, you have studied in geography, there are four main directions, north, south, west and east. Now see, Suppose you are stand facing north. You are at north. Now, by right angle turn clockwise. There are two directions. Clockwise and anti-clockwise. So, you are moving clockwise. By right angle turn. Now, you face which direction? East. Now, you are going east. Se. North, if you move one right angle, move karenge to, you will get east. Now, suppose you move another right angle. Now, if you move another right angle, then you finally face south. For this, for one right angle movement, you are facing east. For two right angle movement, you are facing south if you are at north. So, when we are moving from north to east, that is one right angle, then it is one fourth of a revolution, one right angle is one fourth of a revolution. And when we move from north to south, it is two right angles and two right angles means half of a revolution. Or two right angles is also called one straight angle. It is also called one straight angle. That we move towards one straight angle. Now, what happens when we move towards three right angles? So, one, two, three. One, two and three. And when we move towards three right angles, we reach at here. That means north. East, South, West. So, we reach at West. That is 3 right angles and it is 3 fourth of a revolution. So, one more is there. 3 right angles, right? 3 right angles. 3 right angles is 3 fourth of a revolution. And the last one, when we move completely one revolution, one revolution, if you move one revolution, see, if you move one complete revolution like this. So, four right angles, it is four right angles. Four right angles is one complete revolution. So, these are the types of revolutions you have studied in terms of angles, right? In terms of which angles you have studied, right angle, one, when you face north to east, one, right angle, then straight angle, two right angles and complete angle or complete revolution is four right angles is one complete revolution or one complete angle. Now, same in terms of cloak also we have to see. Suppose, see now, suppose the hand of a cloak starts at 12 and goes round until it reaches 12 again. Here, the cloak is at 12. And goes round until it reaches 12 again. Has it not made one revolution? Yes. It made one revolution. 12 to 12. So 12 to 12. How many revolutions? One complete revolution. So how many right angles has it moved? For 3 hours. For this we have to write some key points. 
for three hours. The clock moves. The hand of a clock moves. One right angle. For six hours, it is two right angles. For nine hours, for nine hours, it is three right angles. For twelve hours, it is. four right angles so from 12 to 6 how many hours are there six hours are there so how many right angles two right angles from 6 to 9 how many hours seven eight nine three hours so three hours one right angle and from 1 to 10 2 3 4 Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many hours? Nine hours. For nine hours, how many? Three right angles. So, this is angles and its revolutions we have studied today. Right angle, three hours, one fourth of a revolution. Straight angle, six hours. Half of a revolution, then three fourth of a revolution, nine hours, and last one is complete angle. That means twelve hours equals to four right angles. So I hope you understood the topic. So thank you so much for watching the video.